All right, cool. Appreciate everyone for uh, being here today. My name is Sav. I am with Gitcoin, and we're going to be talking about open source funding mechanisms, something we love. And so, who am I? Um, real quick, I'm an avid guitar player. If you're curious, I like hard rock and heavy metal. If you're curious, the kind of metal, specifically thrash metal. Um, I got interested in grants via 501c3 food bank that I worked at. Uh, started kind of this weird bear market hobby of researching them, and since then I've been a grantee, a grant matcher, a grants consultant, and I've drove adoption of grants tooling. And now I run Grant Ops, which is uh, essentially Gitcoin grants and all the different rounds that we run at Gitcoin, as well as our partnerships lead. And so it's my job to drive public goods funding as well as adoption of the, the Gitcoin product stack. Uh, and you can follow me on X, uh, Sovereign Signal, or I am on Farcaster, honestly more than I'm on X these days, uh, Sov. So uh, what is Gitcoin? Um, this is kind of a, a graphic that we recently put together in what we call the rainbow white paper that you should check out. We just released today. Um, you know, in the early days of Gitcoin, it was kind of Kevin Owaki, our founder, hacking away in a basement trying to find product market fit of like this idea he had around, you know, public goods funding and how Web3 can really unlock a lot of potential that way. We found traction with Gitcoin grants, and so that was using quadratic funding, which is a mechanism that was developed by Vitalik Buterin, uh, Glenn Weil, um, where it basically is a more democratic approach to funding. Through that, we've now run 19 Gitcoin grants rounds using quadratic funding. We've driven uh, now north of 60 million in impact or in funding, you know, through those 60 or those uh, 19 rounds. And in 2021, Gitcoin DAO launched. What Gitcoin is now is through this, this period, we've learned a lot in terms of you know, what funding mechanisms should look like and what a decentralized stack to run those would be. And so there was a conscious decision made sometime in kind of this 2021 to 2023 uh, time period where we took the centralized stack that we were running Gitcoin grants on for quadratic funding and we turned that into a decentralized protocol. And now any community can basically use grant stack, as we call it, to fund what matters to them. So to give you an idea of what that looks like, it starts with the Allo protocol. So the Allo protocol is the smart contract layer that underlies GrantStack. It's essentially a, a smart contract layer that allows you to build coordination mechanisms, funding mechanisms on top of. Uh, the expression of that for us is GrantStack, and so it's a no-code interface that allows you to run quadratic funding rounds, do direct grants. Um, we're actively building on Allo, so some announcements that we made just recently this week as we work with like Superfluid, and they released a streaming uh, version of uh, quadratic funding that's going to be used by Optimism. Um, Kevin recently released Easy RPGF, which is a way that anyone can run retroactive public goods funding rounds in the flavor of Optimism. Just today, there was an announcement on the Optimism Forum that someone has now forked Easy RPGF, and they're using Macy and ZK and built a more kind of privacy-centric version of RPGF. And so, some really cool things happen in that way. Um, I'd love to talk with anyone that's interested about you know learning more about Allo and helping to develop those funding mechanisms on top of it. Really, the way we look at it is. As funding mechanisms are built out at the Allo protocol, it's kind of my job, the job of DevRel at Gitcoin to help drive um, interest and in, in kind of like awareness of those as those gain traction and we see kind of like user adoption of those things, product market fit if you will. That moves more into the grant stack layer where it kind of is a no-code place that anyone can then make use of those funding mechanisms. And then at the program layer, We've got our Gitcoin Grants program that I mentioned. We have many community rounds that we run for ecosystems um, alike. And so it's really, how do we build at the protocol layer? How do we build apps that sit on top of that? And then how do we enable programs to use those mechanisms to ultimately fund what matters to them? And so when we talk about OSS funding and incentives, the current state is, you know, largely it's a lot of kind of legacy nonprofit models, right? There's fundamentally kind of a lack of aligned incentives. We're very much reliant on voluntary contributions, and ultimately it's pretty fragile. So everyone's familiar with kind of like the meme here where it's the guy in Nebraska that's this little block, you know, holding the whole hyperstructure up. I would argue that this is kind of like a defensive, you know, kind of posture, right? I would say that the opportunity now is really for us to look at how do we go on the offensive, right? When we look at the different funding mechanisms that are out there and the possibilities that they offer. And so today, because of crypto, we have a plurality of these funding mechanisms. We can align incentives, we can reward impact, and that's ultimately a more anti-fragile system. And so, I know Juan had talked about that, there's been discussions around this topic for LibP2P and Filecoin, and so we're super excited from a Gitcoin perspective to partner with this community on that and ultimately see how we can go more on the offensive and, and ultimately fund you know, OSS and grow the pie. 
So today's common mechanisms, um, there's direct grants, right? So direct grants is basically, I'm a centralized entity. I'm a grant maker, I'm a grants counsel, you know, I'm a single person, whatever it is. Requests come in to me for grants, I make decisions on those, I disperse those based on milestones, or I disperse them kind of all at once. That can be anything in, in kind of our spectrum from bounties to RFPs to open applications. By and large, direct grants are the most common form of grant making really in crypto and I would argue kind of the world today, right? For us, there's also quadratic funding, right? So an organization sends funds to a project and based on community support, those funds are distributed. Um, it really allows for a more democratic approach to kind of capital allocation. Direct grants and quadratic funding are both available native in our grant stack tool today. And so anyone can go set up a program, launch around, disperse direct grants and really manage all the way through the grants lifecycle. Um, in my time kind of working around grant programs, I noticed that many of them kind of cobble together a lot of different tools. And so there's a type form on the front end that you submit your application in. There's a Notion or a Google Sheet in the middle that people are reviewing those applications against. And once decisions are made, you're dispersing payments through a multi-sig, right? Not to say that that's a bad approach, but for us, we look at that as an opportunity to put more best practice standards in place and tooling to support crypto native grant programs. And so that's really the work that we're doing at Gitcoin as we build on top of Allo and develop out grant stack. And then recently we released retroactive public goods funding. Um, this is something that Kevin Owaki, our founder, launched the day that the RPG F3 results were released. And so this is essentially a fork of what Optimism does, where you know if you want to run RPG F rounds in the flavor of Optimism, we have a super easy way that you can do that. And we'll actually be working with this community um, to that effect. And eventually we'll see that make its way into grant stack. When we talk about tomorrow's mechanisms, you can see over here there's direct grants, there's quadratic funding. We're in the process of finalizing conviction voting, which will be released soon. I mentioned RPGF. We just released streaming quadratic funding, so we're already starting to see these mechanisms being built out at the Allo protocol layer and some on grant stack. But in the future, there's delegated domain allocation, which today, if you're familiar with Questbook, that's something that they're very active in doing for compound grants and Arbitrum. There's private voting, angel investing, self-curated registries, and many more. If you're interested in kind of learning more about some of the different mechanisms that are out there and just what kind of the scope of possibilities would be, you can actually hit this site, coordinationmechanisms.gitcoin.co. It's a pretty cool site with some neat visuals that'll give you an idea of like, what the landscape looks like that way. And from a Gitcoin perspective, we really view these as kind of our opportunity that we'd love to work with communities to build on top of Allo. And so from here, what are the next steps? Well, uh, Juan already announced that, you know, RPGF funding rounds are gonna be something that we're gonna be working on. And so from my perspective, I'll be helping with that from a Gitcoin side of things. We've already started talking about um, this community participating in the RPGF round. I think Privley will be, you know, going through the cohort and, you know, getting some experience that way. So ultimately, we're just here to help you fund what matters, right? Um, from a Gitcoin perspective, we want to offer the infrastructure to allow you to do that. But then there's also kind of like lightweight services and support that we can do to help communities get spun up and comfortable with the mechanisms. And then ultimately, you know, we don't want to be a services company. We want to enable, we want to kind of give people the tools that they need to go out and kind of drive. We are seeing more and more service providers pop up where there are programs that maybe desire uh, projects to be ran or programs to be ran by you know, more qualified service providers that have experience running grants. And so we're also actively building a network of those so that as we come in contact with communities that desire that type of service, you know, we have an answer for that as well.